Okay, boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly, AnimatorsForum.com, as well as Real Illusion Forum. Uh, this, I think, is the first official release version of this. I hope it works. I, I've been at the doctors all week, so, you know, I wanted to get this out because tomorrow we're going to go see the Avengers, so I don't know how much time I'm going to have. But anyway, so this is the, this is the release version of the, the thing that takes your Daz. This is from Daz. This is uh, the old London Alley somebody was having trouble with on the forum. Old London Alley from Daz. Uh, it takes your dad's environments and props and other items and converts them into, uh, puts all the maps and stuff for you. So here we have, um, you know, iClone. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply this to iClone. Just, this is 3D Exchange. You still have to bring it in through 3D Exchange. And you still may have the problem of it having uh, not fitting inside of 3D Exchange. But we're going to talk about that in a second. So uh, so here we are in iClone. So, you know, there there it is if we uh, go to the... The front of this, however, where whichever way the front is, somewhere like that, something like this. Anyway, so um, so there we are. There's there's this London Alley, and it hasn't as it stands now. There's not a lot of textures to it. So if you look down here, you'll see there should be some. You know, there's some base colors here. Uh, we'll sort these by this. Uh, there's some uh, you know so the brick colors here, but there's no bump maps. There's no roughness. Uh, none of that stuff. So my new routine which I'm now, I have a different name. I gave it a different name, so don't be using that. It's called LMI Materials Cloney. <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm calling it that, but that's what it is for now. Uh, load Materials. Load Materials is what it is in the iClone. Load Materials in iClone. LMI Clone. That's, I knew I had some reason. Uh, first of all, it does a couple things. First of all, it assumes there's the, you don't have to edit this anymore. You used to have to edit your path. All you have to do is have an exports directory inside your documents directory. So you don't have to worry about what the name of your directories are or change that, but do make sure you have exports. That's where you're going to send your uh, the OBJ or you know, if an XBX, if you want to use that, uh, but uh, you're going to send it into this exports directory and that's where you're going to pull it in, you know, in, in this program, expects it there. Uh, that's about all this really requires is for the uh, OBJ to be in there. Um, and then we'll, we'll run it. The nice thing about this is I've also improved this so it runs a ton faster. Uh, when I was showing this off to you some before, it would take, I don't know, three or four minutes for a simple one, which this is a simple one. And it would take up to 20 minutes on this uh, robot one that I had. And now I've, I've improved it by a factor of about 10 to 20 times faster. So it comes up a lot faster and gets all the things it needs. So First of all, we'll, we'll go back to show you some of the materials it brought in. So there it brings in the roughness and uh, should bring in the normals if there's a place where it has normals. Yeah, so there's a bump map, brings in bumps or normals. It will also correctly bring in bump maps if there's not a normal for it. So it, it handles that part properly. It will handle opacity. Um, it handles metallics, of course. I don't think there's any metallics in here, but um, I don't know that there's any op opacity maps either. Uh, so one thing that happens is when it, go, when it goes through the file, it will tell you which files it has problems with. So for example here, uh, the first thing it's going to tell you is that a PNG, it can't adjust the uh, specular maps for PNGs. I, I think I mentioned this in the very f second one I did, but uh, DAS specular maps are kind of need to be inverted and, and adjusted to be absolutely proper, because otherwise they're not. These look okay here, the ones that have the opacity on here, but are the specular. But they really need to be inverted and adjusted, and, and you can only be adjusted if they happen to be JPEGs because of the routines that are here. That's assuming you've installed uh, the uh, image processing, which I also mentioned in another one of those tutorials. Uh, so that's okay. If it can't adjust it, it just tells you, but it still puts those maps in here. It also, uh, the maps it doesn't do, like this roof O, it doesn't. It didn't match that up. Uh, and, and actually, I don't even know what the Rufo is. I looked at that, those maps. I'm not quite sure what they are. If you're seeing some maps in here that aren't getting matched up properly, uh, let me know. Send, you know, send me a screenshot or whatever. Let me know, and I'll try. This, as it stands now, is going to get about 90 to 95 percent of all the maps. But some maps you just can't get. It's impossible. The developers are just uh, not very good at naming conventions, so they. They just uh, will, will give me things that I absolutely can't do. But uh, most of the maps, like I said, it'll, it'll find the vast majority of the maps. Here's a, 
here's this guy here, and I'll apply him to iClone. This is the uh, the golem. Um, so when he comes in somewhere, wherever he is, he's he's here somewhere. Where is he? Oh, he's probably inside this. <laughs> it's the golem. He's inside. He's actually standing in reverse. There he is. The Golem. So he doesn't have any, other than the base textures, he doesn't have anything applied to him. So again, we just go into, we can clear this council here. And this guy took like 20 minutes before when I was when I was trying to do this. Uh, so he was, a, he was a terrible one to try to bring in. But uh, if I go up to here and run this script, and I think it runs in in less than a, less than a minute for him. So this was a huge speed up factor. And uh, what this will also show is that in addition, like I say, it gets the um, uh, specular and the metallic and the bump and the normal maps. Uh, but the also what it will do in a moment, as you'll say, once again, this took like 20 minutes to bring this guy in before. He's just got a tremendous amount of textures. I actually had to stop the video because it took so long to bring him in before. Uh, and it's taken a bit of time here, but it shouldn't take more than a minute or two at the most for him. See, make a liar out of me. Come on, he's going to get in here eventually. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the other thing I was going to mention to you, and I'll, and I'll mention it to you while I'm waiting for this guy to come in, uh, is that you still have to get the stuff correctly from 3D Exchange into here and it and it may not get in depending upon how uh how big the file r is am okay we're back <laughs> well i told you it took 20 minutes before on this it took about two and a half to three minutes to get this guy so it's still taking a lot of time for some this has got a million textures in it uh but not 20 minutes so it's it's definitely a whole lot better and you can see you know the textures and it does the glow map so that also what else has some pretty cool stuff? I'll, what I like to do with glow maps like this is, uh, you know, I go into the uh, to the glow part, wherever the, wherever the glow is here. I'll have to look and see where the glow is. Oh, there we go, glow. And then I uh, I like to, you know, bump up the, the self-illumination. Kind of have that be, uh, it's not really doing, oh, maybe I don't have, eh, it's on there. Should be modifying that. Anyway, um, there it is. Yeah, you can kind of see the glow is, is glowing down there on his feet. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, if I go into the visual, I just got back from the doctor, so I'm not completely 100%. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so he's glowing. Okay, so there's that. And I want to show you the one last thing here is um, you still have to get things through 3D Exchange. So if you, in this particular case, these New York uh, stores, yeah, New York stores, this one, uh, I tried to load the whole thing in through Daz. I think I've even commented on this in a video, another video that didn't have to do with this one. I actually had to break this down into individual stores in order to get this uh, to load in properly to 3D Exchange uh, to, through iClone. So, um, so that's something you still may have to do. Uh, you, you're going to have to play around with that. Uh, I can't, unfortunately, I can't uh, write anything that gets around the limitations of this. Um, I wish I could. So if you have 3D Exchange and you're trying to, you're struggling with trying to bring something in, let me know and I'll see if I can help you with that. If you let me know the particular item it is, and we'll and we'll bring it in. But in this particular case with the New York stores, uh, I bring them in uh, one at a time, and uh, and that seems to work. So we'll turn this back on so we can see these guys. Okay, so on this one, somebody had problems with again the texture is not coming in with this. So we go back up to here and we. I always like to clear off the, uh, so I can see brand new what I'm doing here. Uh, but again, this used to take, to run this, would take at least three or four, or maybe even five minutes to run. Uh, with most items now, it should run in under a minute. Um, that isn't to say, as you saw with the Golem, that took, that took about three minutes, uh, but it was taking like 20 minutes before it run. So I have uh, optimized the routines to a great deal. Uh, but nothing's perfect and uh, unfortunately again i according to the python developers i cannot do anything to give you feedback i'd love to tell you where we are in this process to say you know we're 80 percent done or, or whatever how, how much longer you may have to wait but the way they wrote python they don't allow any feedback to happen like that and even putting this in the form of a ui won't uh, 
won't give you that feedback. So just not much we can do about that. I'm sorry. Uh, I would like to if I could. And there we go. So here it, it didn't match these two particular JPEGs, but it matched everything else. Um, they may not be used. See, that's something else that happens. Sometimes this goes through all the maps in the directory. So there may be maps in the directory that just aren't used. So you, you don't you don't want to panic about it too much, depending upon what it says that that uh, didn't match up. But if we go through the settings, you can see it loaded in the, the bumps. And uh, let's go through and see if we can see any. I don't know if there's any roughness. I know there's opacity maps in this because it loads those in. Uh, a lot of definitely found the bumps. I don't know. Flora, let's see. How about leaves? I think the leaves... Yeah, so it loads in opacity maps. Um, I'm not sure what else. So there's opacity map. But anyway, it loads in all the maps. So uh, hopefully this works for you guys. Uh, let me know. Give me the feedback. Again, I'm, I will continue to release new versions as I find other maps that it doesn't work with. But we're kind of at the mercy of whoever develops things for Daz as to what maps we can find and what we can't. But we can find a lot of them. So... Hopefully that helps. Talk to you later on the forums. Take care.